Local 10 investigation, there are more than 200 species of exotic animals living and breeding here in the state of Florida. And while many of them belong here, those that don't are causing major problems. And in tonight's special report, we take a closer look at the impact of the iguana invasion. Brian Wood is a man on a never ending mission. Busy from the time I wake up until I can't do it anymore. From the Keys to Palm Beach, he scours South Florida for non native reptiles. A variety of giant iguanas brought in through the pet trade from places like Mexico, Cuba, as well as Central and South America. So, those cute little baby iguanas that you saw in the pet store, um, you know, they're like this big. Well, they grow up to be this big and can live 25 to 30 years. And people don't think about that. So when they get too big to, to handle or they start to get too expensive to feed, they let them go. And in urbanized areas, they have no natural predators, which means they're reproducing at an alarming rate. I mean, it's getting bad. You figure each female lays out 40 to 60 eggs and it only takes them 18 months to become fertile. It's like rats in New York, you know, they're just, and they're gonna keep continuing. Iguanas are most commonly seen along the edges of lakes and waterways. It not only gives them a mode of travel, but it also becomes an easy place for them to burrow and hide. And that's creating major problems for communities like Emerald Oaks, which is now warning residents to steer clear of the creatures. Now they're on the street, they're on the roof, they're down the vent pipes, they're getting, you know, they're in the gutters. If they bite you, if they bite your, they'll kill your dog, they'll eat your, you know, so it's, it's pretty, they're pretty scary. Dr. William Kern, associate professor with the University of Florida Research and Education Center in Davie, says iguanas also pose a health threat. Because they're eating plant material and because they have salmonella bacteria in their gut, when they defecate, they're spreading salmonella around. So if it's on something like a picnic table or places where people are gonna be sitting, that can be a problem. If iguanas are doing property damage, they can be trapped and humanely disposed of. You got one coming up straight. But that's a job best left to the professionals. They do bite, their tails whip, and they claw. So they're definitely dangerous. And that danger can be heightened simply by something red. Iguanas, for some reason, are drawn to the color. You know, there was an instance where a girl was feeding one strawberries and the strawberry fell on her foot and the iguana bit her foot and, and really caused a lot of damage to her foot. Well, if you capture an iguana, you cannot let it loose in a nearby park like a canal or a lake or undeveloped area. To do so is a misdemeanor subject to jail time and even a fine. Either you keep the creature as a pet or arrange to have it humanely euthanized.